So do you have what it takes to be in my team? You've got to have your FIFA game on point. Who's winning the tournament then? I'm winning the I'm tournament. Winning the tournament I'm winning the tournament. I'm winning the tournament. Yeah, come come on. Hi and welcome along to AFTV News Daily, the early edition. Hope that you guys are doing brilliantly today. Um, wherever you are in the world, welcome along to uh, the News Daily show. Of course, we are counting it down now. Eight days to go until Arsenal finally return back to action, um, taking on Manchester City at the Etihad Stadium. I was actually down by the Emirates yesterday and it felt nice to be out and about and just down there, you know. Um, but yes, football returning and we really, really are looking forward to it. And um, the players, I think you can see that they're infused and really, really up for it. Um, and all of them really looking forward to getting back to to playing once again after such a long layoff. Um, big up to Socrates, whose birthday is today. Um, <clears throat> hope you have yourself a great day and um, hit the ground running once the season returns. Now. What about another Greek player, though, who's doing big things at the moment? And that's, um, he's a fellow Greek player at Arsenal, who is, of course, on loan at the moment over there in the Bundesliga, um, in Bundesliga 2, actually, uh, for a team called Nuremberg. And that's Konstantinos Mavrapanos, um, centre-back who's been at Arsenal, really had a tough time at Arsenal with injuries. You know, he's barely played and... It's been an injury ravaged time for him, uh, sort of plucked from nowhere. When you look at him, he has all the attributes to be a centre back. But as I said, we just not really ever had a chance to really had a good look at him. However, on his low move, he's doing very well um, at Nuremberg. He's been putting in some really good performances. And there's been a lot of suggestions that he's actually been their best player or one of their best players um, this season. Subsequently, lots of clubs in the Bundesliga are now looking at him. It's said to be five different Bundesliga clubs that are interested in signing him. Now, do we sell him or do we bring him back? I mean, certainly we've had him for a while. And as I said, we've never been able to see what he's properly like because of injuries. But doing very well on loan. Do we sell him or do we bring him back? Um, what would his price be? If we sell him, remember, he's still only uh, 22. You wouldn't believe that because he seems to have been at the club for a while. But he's still only 22 and um, a big commanding centre back. You don't want to see you know, the risky thing about these things. is You, you don't want to make that mistake, do you? You don't want to make that mistake where you say, right, you know what? I think uh, it's time to move him on. It hasn't really happened. And then you move him on and then you go and see him go somewhere and absolutely tear it up. That's the last thing you want to see. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see what happens with him. They, they'll definitely be monitoring him right until the end of the season. But Mavrapanos apparently wanted by five different Bundesliga teams and five different Bundesliga teams wouldn't want you if they didn't rate you. Um, Thomas Partey. Oh, no, no. This is starting to be like the Benzema thing a few years ago. Every day, on and on and on and on. ESPN today. Uh, claiming that Arsenal are ready in a bid for um, Thomas Partey. He's got a £44 million release clause. I don't think Arsenal would be really looking to pay all of that. Um, and then there's been so many rumours about it. He hasn't signed a new deal yet at Atletico. Remember I said that Guillaume Balaguer said that, you know, um, the the Spanish journalist works here in the UK for Sky. Um, he said that he can't see... Thomas Partey signing a new deal. So where is he going to end up? The rumours around Arsenal just seem to be constant. He's had teammates from Ghana that have come out and urged him to sign for Arsenal. Others that have said, yes, Arsenal, he loves Arsenal. Family members, all the usual stuff. Um, but will this be a deal that gets done um, this summer? Certainly, it's in a position that we could do with really strengthening. He, from what I've seen of him, he's definitely somebody who would bring a lot to that Arsenal midfield and sorting out the spine of the team. But will it be this summer or won't it be? Um, it just keeps going on. Thomas Partey, day in, day out. Or will 
Arsenal switched their attentions to another player playing over there in Liga, in La Liga. And that's this guy. Um, his name is Mark Rocker. Uh, he plays for Espanyol. Again, another defensive midfielder. Very, very highly rated. Um, he's had another uh, very, very good season. And um, said to be uh, valued, well, his release clause is £35 million. So that's cheaper than Thomas Partey's £35 million. Mikel Arteta, who, of course, knows Spanish football inside out, he's Spanish himself, of course, um, is an admirer of Mark Rocker and said to be very interested in him. He's only 23, so that's a, a very, very good age. And the Spanish media, or some outlets in the Spanish media, claiming that Arsenal are leading the race to sign him in the summer. Spanish outlets you can never be overly dependent upon because, you know, you, you'll find different parts of the media push agendas for different clubs to help drive values of players up, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But that's the rumour coming out. He's uh, under contract, as I said, till June um, 2022. So he's still got a quite um, a decent amount of time to go on his contract. So it wouldn't be cheap. But Arsenal said to be uh, rumoured to be very interested in bringing him in, or Mikel Arteta, according to the rumours this summer. Certainly seem to be looking in that defensive midfielder um, position a lot, Arsenal, at the moment. And then there's also the right-back position, which a lot of fans have sort of said that they feel that's a bit of a problem. Um, nobody's really quite clicked there. You've got Hector Bellerin, you've got Ainsley Maitland-Niles, and of course now we've brought in Cedric. Well, could this guy come in? His name is, uh, I've, I've spoken about him before, about four or five weeks ago, Dennis Giafami. He's a Leicester City player, but doesn't really get any game time at Leicester. He's, he's a young lad. He's only 18, and his contract is expiring um, in June. Now, he's a very good player, very good prospect, um, but <laughs> he's got a dislodged Pereira to get any first team um, time in that Leicester squad, and that's a very, very difficult thing to do because Pereira amongst the very best out there in that right pack position at the moment. Arsenal, who have been interested, are still very interested in him. There's a host of other clubs that want him as well. Um, where will he decide to go? It'd be a free because, as I said, his contract is up in June and he still hasn't signed a new deal with Leicester. So could he be heading to Arsenal? Right back is a um, seeming to be a bit of a problem position. For Arsenal, he's young. We're, we're always talking about, you know, adding young, talented players to the squad. Um, could he be a young, talented player that we could add to the squad? Uh, it's going to be it's going to be an interesting summer because, you know, I think Arsenal are looking at these type of young, progressive players. Um, a player who's not young and progressive, but a good player, is Henrik Mkhitaryan, still at Roma on loan. Still lots of talk and speculation about what happens to Henrik Mkhitaryan. Um, he did an interview, and in that interview, he had some uh, very interesting things to say. He's done a lot of interviews, he has, hasn't he? Um, uh, he was asked, of course, about Roma. Um, does he want to stay? You know, And uh, these are his quotes. He says, of course, I would like to be at Roma next season, uh, not only next season, but for another few years. But I still have a contract with Arsenal and it's not up to me. It's up to Arsenal and Roma if they agree terms of the transfer fee. So my thinking um, is to train hard, um, to play hard and to look forward to what's going to happen. Of course, if I'm not going to stay at Roma, I have to go back to Arsenal. I'm not complaining. Football life uh, changes so quickly. So you have to be ready to play wherever you are. If not in Rome, I'm going to go back and play for Arsenal. If not, I'm going to stay here and play for Roma. So um, reading into that, what he's basically saying is, you know, first choice is I want to stay here. I want to stay at Roma for the next few years. I want to be a Roma player. However, if they can't come to an agreement with Roma or Arsenal, I'm happy to go back to Arsenal and play. And as a matter of fact, um, there's been a lot of talk that, you know, Mikel Arteta is actually quite an admirer of Mkhitaryan. He likes Mkhitaryan. So you never know if that's not sorted this summer, which it might not get sorted this summer because, you know, 
The difference with Arsenal and Roma is, is money. And everybody knows money's in short supply because of the whole coronavirus crisis. Um, so we could very well see Henrik Mkhitaryan come back to Arsenal. Um, where would he fit in, really? You know, I mean, I'm sure Arsenal would like to sell him to Roma, and that is the, the best solution. But you heard it from him there. He's not against coming back to Arsenal and, again, fighting for his place. So interesting, interesting. And, again, it's going to be an interesting summer for Henrik Mkhitaryan. Uh, let's see some of your comments. Nelson says, Arsenal interested in a Leicester player who is presently not getting uh, playtime in Leicester City. Finally, we are doomed. So you can't look on it like that. You know, this is the thing. You'll say that, Nelson. But if, that, if um, for instance, he goes somewhere else and he tears it up, we'll all be there saying, oh, why didn't we? We could have had him. He was there on a free, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? You get a lot of prospects that are very good players, but they can't get in the team. Right now, in front of him, he's got Pereira. That To me, the two best right-backs in the division are Trent Alexander-Arnold and Ricardo Pereira at Leicester. So it's no shame if that kid, who's only 18, can't get into the team right now. Um, doesn't mean that he couldn't be. I mean, if you get him on a free and he proves to be a player that in the future could be a top, top player and, you know, it's worth it's worth looking at players like that. You know, you've got to look to the future. Um, Ilya says uh, we should be trying to pers um, pursue Partey, but if that isn't possible, then Rocca would be a decent alternative. So obviously, Arsenal looking around at a lot of different players at the moment. Um, Quan Kenny says uh, Robbie Love from Malaysia, Ramsey, Wilshire, Giroud, and Walcott. Who do you miss the most at Arsenal? I think it would have to be. Ramsey, I think, you know, we, we've not scored any goals from hardly any goals from midfield this season. So, um, yeah, I, I, it's Ramsey. Idris says, good morning, Don Robbie. The, f um, the fact that five different teams want Mavrapinus means he's good enough. We don't know who those five Bundesliga teams are, but five Bundesliga teams are five Bundesliga teams. You know what I mean? Um, you know, they are all interested in him. So... You know, he must be do doing pretty well. Um, Victor T says, Wambasaka is better. I think he's talking about Wambasaka being better than um, Pereira. I don't think so. I'd re if, I, if I had a choice between the two, I'd have Pereira. I think he's a better all-round. He's better at getting forward, and he's a very good defender as well. Um, to me, I rate Pereira higher. Well, I do rate Wambasaka, but for me, Pereira higher I rate um, than him. Um, Ankit said, Greek gods at our club shall be sold, um, combined for 25 million at least. So it looks like he's looking to off offload um, Mavrapinus and Socrates. Um, Vic Star says, Man United are uh, going for Van der Beek and Arsenal. Listen, yeah, Van der Beek has been linked to thing and, you know, cut a lot of, you know, was it? Six weeks ago, every United fan was gassing up themselves about, oh, Jaden Sancho. You know what I mean? Relax. Hasn't happened yet. Might not happen. You know? Reading today that, you know, the Sancho thing, Sancho might stay at Dortmund. So let's not get carried away. Slow down, Vic Star. Um, Kunjan says, uh, Jambo from Nairobi, Kenya, Don Robbie. Uh, we need to keep um, Dinos. Um, he's a promising player. Sell Mustafi, Socrates, and buy one world-class centre back. We, I've not seen enough of Mavrapinus to say keep him because what he's done at Arsenal, because he's always been injured. It's not his fault. He's just always been injured. However, um, if he's doing really well over there in Germany, if there are five teams looking at him, maybe he's done enough to to earn a recall. Let's wait and see. He is playing in the second division as well. Remember, um, over there in the Bundesliga, he's not. He's not like he's up against Bayern and Dortmund and that every week. So he's still developing. Um, Christian says, "Hi, Robbie. I'm a fan from Estonia. Uh, your content is ama amazing. I hope Estonian uh, goalkeeper Carl Jacob um, Jacob Hein 
uh, will make it at Arsenal. 18-year-old young goalie in the academy, like Mark Poon. Okay, okay. Well, let's see if he does. Um, it'd be good to uh, have a player from that um, part of the world in the team. Uh, John SC says, if we sign Mary, then there's no need for Mavrapinus. I would still uh, like it, like to give him one more chance and send him out on loan before deciding. And that might be a wise thing to do. Um, you know, maybe send him out on loan for another season to a, you know, a, a, a club in the first division of the, you know, Bundesliga one, the main Bundesliga, and see how he gets on there. And if he's progressing in the same way, then maybe you bring him back. Um, John says, uh, apparently Arsenal wanted to sign Socrates back in the 2010-11 season. It was Wenger that went for Scalacci instead. Oh, Scalacci. That's another bad one. <laughs> Didn't work out. Uh, Nabil says, uh, do you think uh, we should get a younger replacement if Aubameyang leaves? Yeah, if, if you, you know, if Aubameyang leaves, you go for a younger striker um, that's going to have years on him for definite. Um, Ella says, uh, morning, uh, Don Shake, Robbie G. So he's shaped on it. I think we should take Dinos back and have him for a season and see how it goes. Um, he's been so unfortunate with injury. Um, so let's have him back and see how it goes. As I said, I, I like what that last, last guy suggested. Maybe sending him back to another Bundesliga club. Let him go to a Schalke or somebody like that for a season and see how he gets on. And then, you know, make a decision on it then. Let, let, him, get, let him get a whole season of game time and see what he does. That's what I'd like to see. Uh, Dorian says, uh, Arsenal should get somebody younger if Aubameyang decides to leave. Um, <clears throat> uh, Iger says Mark Rocker and Partey would be a good double pivot, a very expensive double pivot, <laughs> very expensive double pivot. Um, King Wasso says, keep revrapping us, trust me, because Miss Lintat's decision and Miss Lintat never goes wrong. Well, Miss Lintat does get stuff wrong, um, but it was a Miss Lintat um, signing. Um, Black Badger says, why are there no rumours of for a defender? There's been a lot of rumours um, over defenders, you know, this Sarsi and guys like this. Um, remember, I keep stressing this. We're not actually at the end of the season yet. Um, really Schooner says, if we got Partey and Aubameyang signs a ting, um, that would be a good, a decent window this summer. What position um, could we get next year? And he says, uh, stay home, stay home. Uh, Partey, yeah, listen, Partey and Aubameyang signing would be very positive. Defending still, you know, that's still a problem. Um, but could Mary be the answer to that? We don't know. Could it be Mavrapinus? Um, Prasnav says uh, Dinos has three years left on his contract. Um, he's young and on low wages. His price will only increase, especially given the current value. His potential and performance is on loan. I say keep him for now. Um, it's, it's, uh, I can't pronounce that. I think it's Aura Freak. He says, uh, hello, Robbie. How are you doing? Uh, do you think uh, we should replace Lacazette with a new striker or we should try Enketia, Martinelli, John Jules and Balogun? Um, John Jules, Balogun have done very well in the youth teams. Whether they're ready yet, who knows? Um, Eddie has been doing very well when he's coming in the first team. So is Martinelli. Um, but no, I don't think we should replace Lacazette yet. I think, you know, let's try and, you know, I think up front we're decent. Let's strengthen the areas that need strengthening. Um, Deji789 uh, says we should keep, we, sorry, we should sell Mavrapanos and add a buyback clause or first refusal. Hmm? That's, that's, uh, that's, you know, that's something that a lot of clubs do. Um and can always, you know, always something worth considering. But as I said, I favour what that guy says about sending him back out again on another loan, but a longer loan, you know. Uh, Marcel Smith says, hi, Robbie. I watched all Mavrapinos games at Nuremberg since the restart, and he's looked good, but gets caught out once in every game. I think another loan to a team in a top division would be best. And remember, as I said, he's playing at the moment in Bundesliga 2. 
He's not in the main league. So might be doing brilliantly, might have five clubs looking at him, but he's still not had that ultimate test yet. Maybe, as I said, another season a bit higher up would be a good a good move. Um, Ibrahim says, Sheikh Robbie, I'm back. Do we have any Partey news? No Partey news apart from the fact that ESPN are claiming that um, Arsenal are looking to uh, make a bid or, you know, and uh, want to bid and maybe do the release clause. It's all speculation at the moment. Looking at that ESPN story, I, I couldn't see where that story come from, where, what they're basing it off, apart from just speculation. Um, Subalel says, uh, read this, please, um, Robbie, please. Sign only Partey this season and loan Coutinho. That would be a good window. But still with the defence. But could that marry be that? I don't know. Um, hi, Robbie. Honestly, I don't think we need to replace Aubameyang uh, with all the forwards we have. We don't need to strengthen those areas right now. There's there's bigger priorities. Um, Carl says, I wouldn't let Mavrapanus go. He's playing now and he's playing well. Every time we let a young um, talent go, he becomes a star. Um, Fletch says, uh, Don Robbie, I just bought a Martinelli kit. If we sign Partey, thank me later for funding the transfer. Um, did you get the new one? <laughs> Uh, Pineapple Fruit Dude says, uh, do you think that managers should use uh, first half substitutions more if things are not going um, the right way now that we have five subs? Um, first, out, first half substitutions, normally you don't really see that happen a lot unless obviously injuries or if players are just not carrying out the instructions what the managers ask them to do. You normally, I don't know. It is something you could see, I suppose, because now there's five substitutions. You might want to say to yourself, right, your strategy could be right. We're going to go all out high intensity for 90 minutes. And you could say to a couple of players, just go and burn yourself out in the first half. We're going to bring you off. And in the second half, we're going to replace you with two other players that are going to do all the closing down and hard work. It could be a strategic a thing that could work strategically. It's going to be very interesting, as I keep saying, to see what the strategies are going to be once the season returns. Um, John S.C. says, Robbie, why don't we put release clause on any of our players? I I've never understood it. I've never understood why, you know, you seem to see so many other teams have, uh, especially in Europe, it's a real common thing, release clauses. Don't seem to be used as much in the UK, but um, it is a way of ensuring you get a lot of money for a player. Um Anthony John Cyrus says we should keep Mavrapanos in the team. Um, all the academy players always praise him, saying he's a beast. He, he looks a beast, but we want to see it on the pitch, you know? Um, Kaji says uh, we need a CAM, Robbie. Why haven't we, um, why aren't we talking about Grealish or Buendia? Um, I think the reason why is that we all know that... Uh, Urza was going to be staying for at least another season. So probably Arsenal kind of keeping their powder dry to wait until when he leaves at the end of next season. However, they has, there has been talk that they're looking at this uh, guy, Kochu, who plays for Feyenoord. So he could come in. You never know this summer. Uh, Gorsikan says, uh, I can't wait for five substitutes because it can be game-changing. Imagine swapping all the defenders for attackers. Uh, that would be interesting to see if that does happen. Um, Varon says, Martinelli played in the Brazilian fourth division. Why can't you give Mavrapanus a chance? He's playing in the German second division. I'm giving Mavrapanus a chance. Mavrapanus is doing well, but I want to see more. And I just think that, yes, you know, you send a player down to the championship and he's doing well, fair enough. Right, he's done well for half a season. I might then look to the next season to say, well, you know what? Let's loan him to a Premier League team and see how he gets on against all the really top strikers. Because there's a there's a massive gulf. And I'm sure there's a, I mean, some of the teams that I've seen even in the Bundesliga since the restart, right? The ones down near the bottom are not better than some of the championship teams over that I see over here. So 
I want to see him playing, you know, I'd be more impressed if it was like up against Bayern. You know, he was marking Haaland out the game for Dortmund and, you know, I, you know, so I don't want to get carried away with this, but then I agree, you don't want to let, a, you know, a, a young prospect go and he has been injured a lot. But let's just slow down and see how he gets on. Um, Jam 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 says, hi, Robbie, uh, do we really need Mikatarin when we have Pepe and Nelson? In my opinion, I think he should just stay at Roma. It's all going to come down to price, though. Arsenal um, want a fee for him. They'd rather sell him. Roma obviously don't want to spend a lot of money on him. Um, so I, I, it's going to come down to fee. And if the fee's not right, I'm sure Arsenal will bring him back and then maybe even think about loaning him somewhere else. Um, Omar says, four managers haven't been convinced by Mavrapinus, which should tell you all you need to know. Not good enough. Again, you know, we need to see. We need to wait and see. Uh, Dank says, Don Robbie, you're my inspiration. Wow. Well, thank you very much for that. Um, DJ Fury Deja Vu says, um, Arteta hardly makes subs in, in reply to that one about the uh, four substitute uh, option. You know, um, yeah, he, he uh, listen, he's still he's still early in his career. So we're going to have to wait and see how he develops that. Will he be like a Wenger, 75th minute, all his subs? Uh, cool Beer 248 says, uh, hey, Robbie. I feel like the restart will uh, be a chance for our current centre-backs to step up as we have so many. Then we can see whether we truly need a centre-back or whether Partey and, um, and Coutinho is all we need. Massive chance for the centre-backs to step up and show what they can do. Um, and they really need to as well. Um, Lazilio F7 says, uh, Partey, 40 million. Disarcy, 5 million. Disarcy would be more than 5 million. And Saliba at the back and a new right back and tie Aubameyang and Saka to contracts. Sanjay Joseph says, hi, Robbie. Keep holding Selma Vapinos on a buyback policy. Um, Padwell says, I think if Mary stand out with his performances, then we have Saliba. I think Medley also can um, make good in the first team. What do you think? I haven't seen enough from Medley to suggest that he's ready yet for the first team. When I've seen him play, he's a, he's a big imposing lad. He's still young, so he's still got a chance to develop. And maybe he could be a player um, that might be worth sending out on loan as well to a championship team or, so, you know, rather than just playing under-23 stuff all the time, just get him ready for the hustle and bustle of the Premier League. Um, RZNO AFC says, Robbie, I'm still upset that we sold Christian Bielik to Derby after his impressive loan spell at Charlton, um, getting them promotion and player of the season. He should be um, at centre-back and CDM at Arsenal. I was a bit surprised when Arsenal got rid of um, Bielik because you're right, he did have a good loan. And again, should there have been some sort of buyback clause in that? Buyback clauses brings down the price of what you can sell um, a player for, obviously. Um, but... If you think that the player's good enough and you might get him back one day. I mean, Serge Gnabry should have had a buyback, shouldn't he? You know what I mean, that's the big one. What? There's there's a host of players. There's another player. Is Benatia who's playing over there at the moment in, in um, Serie A. That we sold for like 900,000. There's teams looking at him now for 40 million. I mean, listen, you're always going to get some wrong. You're going to get some wrong. It's without a doubt. But. Sometimes for those ones that you look and you say, you know what, there's something there in this kid. A buyback is always a good thing to do. Uh, PTRK says, uh, Robbie, Chelsea are now getting Havertz on top of Zayac and Werner. And uh, we get George Lewis and we're celebrating potentially keeping a 31-year-old striker for one more year. Make it stop. Now, listen, we don't know if Havertz will be. I, I think Havertz, I don't think Havertz will go to Chelsea. I think Havertz will end up at um, probably Bayern Munich. Everybody, they see one rumour for Chelsea and everyone's panicking. Just slow down, man. Chill out. The season never even finished yet. Um, Guna Gamer TV says, uh, Sultan Don Robbie, <laughs> regarding uh, yesterday's conversation, if African players picked Africa 
if if African players picked Africa instead of bloody France and others, etc., if Africa was one United country, they would win the World Cup every time, hundred percent of thoughts. Certainly, I remember what you said yesterday. Certainly, if um if all the African players that play for France or from African um descent then went to play for an African country, yeah, that would strengthen that would strengthen them a lot. Um, but I was just saying both your comments yesterday, no African team has ever won the World Cup. Um, I remember Pele saying that we were going to see that um, in the, like, the next 10 years, but we still haven't seen it. Um, Back of Yard Chef says, uh, we still have a lot of deadwood. Um, they shine a little for a little while, and then all of a sudden they die out. We need to get rid of some players like that as soon as possible. Going to do two more. Uh, Niger Street Football says, Robbie, we need to step up or risk losing our position to Newcastle. And um, Taylor says, hey, Robbie, much love from South Africa. Please give us proper results against City. Look good, blood. <laughs> well, listen, I, I love us to love us to um, beat Manchester City. It would be a major step for us confidence wise if we were able to pull that off but it's a very very tough game let's wait and see how it develops out thanks for watching the show we will be back tonight um so make sure you check us out at eight o'clock um and have yourself a great day